What's up guys, it's your boy KBDX Tokyo back again with another MetaZoo video and if this is your first time stopping by, obviously my name is KBDX Tokyo. I am a TCG content creator located in the Bronx, Bronx, New York, if you guys didn't know. Now, I'm making this video as the official announcement, me saying that a MetaZoo is officially over. It is done with all operations for MetaZoo is officially shut down. Think you the shit, bitch? You not even the fuck. So there was a letter that was posted on the MetaZoo official Discord. And I'm going to read the whole letter for you guys. But the letter is basically saying that MetaZoo is over. It's the official closing letter. Mike is done. And they're officially shutting down all operations. Don't call me. Don't come by my house. We're done. I really had high hopes for MetaZoo. I really thought that, you know, they could try to change things around. But let's read the letter and let's read exactly what they said. So it says, uh, the title, MetaZoo Games Closure. It is with a heavy heart that I must announce that effective immediately, MetaZoo Games will be closing and shutting down all operations. I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone in the community for an incredible four-year run that we had. MetaZoo Games was started during a pandemic and provided a home and created a culture that revitalized the TCG industry. Launching a new wave of card games that now number in the hundreds, I'm proud to have been a part of that, and you should be too. Unfortunately, that era has passed, and faced with logistical and product gridlocks, MetaZoo Games can no longer continue to exist in the current economic and collectibles market. It is my hope that MetaZoo can continue on as an IP at some point in the future under new ownership and I look forward to that one day. Special thanks to all MetaZoo artists and staff, both past and present, that made these past four years possible. The memories we created will be something we cherish for the rest of our lives. More information will follow and be communicated via our Discord channel when it becomes available. Thanks for everything once again, Mike Waddell. Now, I feel like it's sad. Like, honestly, it's giving me it's giving me goosebumps. But um, I'm I'm kind of sad. I'm kind of sad that you know things have to end this way. I, I really had high hopes. You know, I thought you know this year could be a really positive year for MetaZoo to turn things around. But overall, I I feel okay. I feel okay. You know, I wish for the best, but was I someone that it really affected if it didn't do well or if shit hit the fan? Would it really affect me financially? No, I was not a person that invested thousands and thousands of dollars in MetaZoo. I legit maybe spent a couple hundred dollars um, buying, you know, sealed product. It sucks for those that really, you know, went all out. Those who really spent a lot, a lot of money investing in, in this TCG for it to just fail like that. I want to hear about other content creators' opinions on this. Um, I, I want to see how Argos, someone who was really known in the MetaZoo community, I believe he was one of the biggest MetaZoo partners that was creating content. I feel like he had a lot invested in MetaZoo for, for it to just, you know, be done like this. I wanna say that I really had an awesome time being a MetaZoo fan, meeting a lot of people in the community. You know, the MetaZoo community is, is awesome, you know, and I hope that all the content creators that showed love to each other and supported one another still will continue to support and show love to one another, even after the whole MetaZoo situation, even if they choose to move on and do different things and make content on different things. I feel like we should still all stick together and show each other love. And that's why I'm okay with MetaZoo, you know, shutting down operations. Like it really doesn't affect me. I'm just glad that I got to be a part of the community. I'm glad that I got to meet some awesome, great people out there. I'm glad that I went to Comic-Con 2023 and did the whole cryptid carnival thing. It was awesome. It was my first time, you know, going to Comic-Con and MetaZoo was basically 
the whole reason why I went. So, you know, I'm, I'm grateful that MetaZoo gave me the opportunity to meet a whole lot of new people. I really was someone that had a lot of faith in MetaZoo. I really spoke positive and, you know, a lot of people were like, you know, you shouldn't believe in it. You shouldn't believe in it. It's definitely going to die. And they were right. You guys were right. I will give that to you 100%. You guys were right. Um, I did, I did believe in it. I did have faith and you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, if it didn't, if it didn't do well and it did do well, either way, I would be fine. It's, it's over, MetaZoo's over and I'm fine, you know? I'm still gonna collect MetaZoo. So if you guys wanna get rid of some of your collections, I would definitely be willing to pick up some of your stuff if you're trying to sell it at an affordable price. But definitely, I'm still gonna be collecting MetaZoo because, because there are some key things in this letter that I want you guys to take note of, okay? So what I'm talking about is this part right here. It says, it's my hope that MetaZoo can continue on as an IP at some point in the future under new ownership. So I, I believe that is the whole key part of this letter. And that's why I am so excited because I know that shit is going to hit the fan on the secondary market. No one's going to fuck with MetaZoo no more. But guess who's going to fucking still pick up MetaZoo? <laughs> My dumbass. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to be a retard and I'm going to still pick up some MetaZoo because I feel like, yes, MetaZoo is over. Mike, Mike definitely chose to say he stepped down. He stepped down for a reason. And I believe he sold it. He's delusional. MetaZoo has been sold to someone else. Maybe someone who has more money, someone who can invest, and someone who can bring MetaZoo back to where it needs to be. And in order for that to happen, Mike has to step the fuck down. He has to get the fuck out the way and he has to no longer be associated with MetaZoo because it's no longer his. He sold it. It's done. Now, I, this is just speculation. This is speculation. This is me still having some type of faith, some type of fucking faith. But if that was not a possibility, I don't think this would be in the letter. That one sentence would not be in this letter if selling MetaZoo wasn't a possibility. And you all know, you all know that was the route that it was going. That was the route that it was going. We all had a fucking hunch that Mike was going to sell fucking MetaZoo because it was just too much for him. Either he spent all the money, him and fucking Andy fucking around with each other, you know, being butt buddies, you know, fucking butt buddies. Want to be fucking butt buddies, okay? So him and fucking Andy fucking around fucked up MetaZoo, right? Either they spent all the money, they did something. They can't fucking play the players. I don't know what the fuck happened. We don't know what the hell happened. But we do know that it is a possibility that Mike sold MetaZoo. Do we know to who? No. No, we don't know to who. But I'm just being optimistic, man. I'm being optimistic. You all can, you know, fuck MetaZoo. You can all believe what you want. You can all, you know, sell your all your, your cards. I, I kind of feel bad for all the people that just bought, like, $1,000 cards, like, on the secondary market, and then now it's over. Like, I, I'm not, like I said, it's, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered because I didn't spend thousands and thousands of dollars. Like, so I really don't care. But I'm excited because I know now that people are going to be selling some really grail cards on the secondary market for the fractions of pennies now. And those are going to be the people that really don't believe in it. Those are going to be the people that, that don't give a fuck about medicine no more. That's it. It's done with them. But someone like me is definitely going to be willing to pick it up because I believe if Mike sold medicine, and someone else is capable of taking over and bringing it back to where it needs to be, all of these sets, all of these old sets, 
they definitely might be worth something. Definitely. I'm not saying they are, because they ain't worth shit now. They, I'm not saying they're going to be worth something in the future. I'm just being hypothetical. I'm just being optimistic. I'm just, you know, giving a little bit of positivity out there. Will I still be opening MetaZoo? Yes. Yes. I will still be opening MetaZoo. Will I still be buying MetaZoo? Yes. I still will be buying MetaZoo. Um, I do have a package here that one of my MetaZoo subscribers sent me. He's an, he's also a fellow MetaZoo content creator. MetaZoo Bokeh. He sent me a, a, a package. I don't know what's in the package, but I will be releasing a video this week. Um, opening a booster box and obviously opening the package that he sent me. Um, I, I do have a package that I'm going to be sending him as well. Um, and I do have a special, special package that I'm going to be sending to Argos. Um, cause I believe, you know, Argos is definitely one of the most positive and influential content creators out there. Someone that really believed in MetaZoo. And now that MetaZoo is over, I feel like he's going to be taking it hard financially and, you know, as a collector, as, as someone that loves MetaZoo, I feel like, you know, it's going to hit him. It's going to hit him hard in the heart. It sucks that all of this happens. You know, I know a lot of people lost a lot of money in MetaZoo and I feel bad for those people. Those people who were like, it's a pump and dump. It's a pump and dump. I guess you were fucking right. You were fucking right. But yeah, man, I just, I just wanted to be one of the first people to to release a video and let you guys know that yes it is officially announced that metazoo is over you know as someone that believed in metazoo and someone that spoke positive of metazoo i gotta be one of the first people out there to let you guys know that i was wrong you guys were right i was wrong and um metazoo's over it's done but do i still believe that they can turn shit around yes i can motherfuckers I'm out. It's your boy, KBDX Tokyo. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you guys for stopping by.